Scrapbooking.com Magazine presents the following feature article from the November 2012 issue. Arnold Grummer's Part 1 Zigzag Books and Notepad Covers by author and artist Judy Kaufman. If you've been following the Square One series in Scrapbooking.com Magazine, you will have seen several accordion books and notepads among my projects. They're always well received and are embarrassingly easy to make thanks to Arnold Grummer's notepad cover kits, zigzag fold book kits, and the new screw post fan decks. When it comes to easy projects, few things are simpler or quicker to complete. Because I order kits packed with enough components for a dozen projects, I always have what I need on hand. But some of the kits are available in twin packs too. Unlike more complicated kinds of books, Arnold Grummer's kit projects require little more than covering the pre-cut covers and decorating them. Six-page inserts for the zigzag fold books are pre-cut and pre-folded. Pages and covers for the fan decks are pre-drilled. None of these projects took more than half an hour to complete. When time allows, I get out the Arnold Grummer's paper mill kit and create paper for my covers. When time is short, I use purchased and hand-stamped papers for the covers, as I did for these projects. Clear instructions are included in the kits. The 3 by 3 inch notepad cover starter kit includes a reusable template, as does the class pack that makes 24. Arnold Grummers has a blog and a website with lots of information, so instead of spending time on how to make the books, I'm going to offer tips and design strategies, plus lots of photos for inspiration. Before you start, ask yourself whether you're making something that will be handled a lot or just a little. That will help you decide what supplies to incorporate. Include fragile embellishments like dimensional stickers or gems if the book, notepad, or fan deck will be mostly for display. For portable books that can stand up to hard use, covers need to be sturdy and embellishments firmly glued. Add decoupage medium or an acrylic sealer if you're making durable covers. No need to do this if you're just making them as a decorative item. Add a wrap band or other closure to secure the book when it's not in use or when it's in a tote or purse. Alter peel-offs and shimmer sheets with alcohol inks or stays-on inks to change the color. Use embossed or flat shimmer sheets, buttons, tags, photos, and other embellishments on your covers. Closures can be removable or can be glued in place as permanent ties while the book is being constructed. Blank books versus books with pages already filled. I give blank books as gifts, but I fill the pages of the ones that I make for myself. Decorate the interior of books you give with memorabilia, quotes, photos, or ready the pages with frames and borders so the recipient can add photos and other items. Think about ways to get the most from each sheet of paper. Arrange the cover boards before you get out the adhesive. Then save the scraps to use for collage on future projects. Notepads and fan decks require paper for the inside of the covers. However, the folded pages cover the inside of zigzag book cover boards, so only one paper is needed for the outside of the front and back. To find the products featured in this article and shown in these projects, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse or premium retail stores for coupons to a store near you. We hope you enjoyed this article from Scrapbooking.com magazine. For more creative inspiration, be sure to check out all of the great articles and projects in this month's issue.